Hi guys, I found something really cool looking on the internet. <laughs> Just by scrolling through my YouTube suggested videos, I stumbled across this video idea, which I want to recreate here. It is basically just a silhouette face. She used female faces, but I also tried to use a male face in this project here. And it was a regular swipe. So it really catched my attention when I saw this video and I had to watch it. And as I'm a really big fan of giving credit to other artists creating these ideas, I want to credit Crafty Jen with this, because I saw this video on her channel and I think it was her idea. At least I've only seen her doing this. And I, I really love it. She did two pieces of this. One was called the Ocean Queen and one was Fierce female face or something, you really have to watch it. I will try to link it in the video here or in the video description. I'm not sure if I can link to other artist channels. I'm not sure. But you should really watch this and Jen, if you for whatever reason see this video, I would really love to hear your comments and probably we can collab or something. I would really love to do something with you together to create something. So j just an idea. If you are a follower of Jen as well, just perhaps give her a shout that I tried something like her and to contact me or so. <laughs> I honestly love her end result a bit more than mine because it was more like the one that I had in mind. But I wanted to experiment with the concept of it because I want to incorporate it into a much larger piece which is a bit more complex than just this swipe idea. So as you know, I fell in love with my space resin art planety artworks. And this is something that I want to incorporate it in one of my newer coming larger ones, which I have not started. But it's always a good idea to start out small and testing out things before you go on large scale and fail miserably. So this would be really crushing to, to end up having something not working at all when you have a large scale. So I wanted to see if this works for me in a yeah, smaller scale. These are 30 by 60 centimeter canvases. And I basically used the very same approach for all three of the projects. Actually, I could have played more with the paint in the end as Jen did. She was moving the paint around all the time. I just swiped once and hoped for the best, I'd say. So this is something that I have learned from her approach, which I will try, of course, again. And I have used too much white in all of these paints. So I wish them to be a bit darker towards the, the, the right side to have a bit more contrast. But overall, you will see what I did. And I hope you like the end results as well. Because bottom line, when I watch all these three laying together next to each other, I really like the result. But first things first, and I will tell you what I did along the way. So first I had to look through the internet to find the silhouette of a face, which was pretty easy to do. And then I just yeah, painted or drew the silhouette on transparent paper, but you can also use baking paper. Jen used a different approach by taping something on the canvas, which is also a cool idea. It did not really come to me trying this approach. It is a bit more time consuming and tricky after all, but she achieved perfectly results with this. Yeah, I just want to see if I can make it uh, a bit more simple. I sketched the outline on the baking or transparent paper. Yeah, traced it onto the canvas so that I have the face. And that was pretty easy. It does not require whatsoever any painting skills. You just cover one side with the darker color and the other side with the white add the colors in the background that you want to pour with or you swipe with and just swipe the white over it. As I said before, I used too much white so I could have played around more with it. And for the first attempt, I wanted to use black gold and swipe with the white just to see how the end result will look if the result looks somewhat close to Jen's result. And what I probably need to adjust for the next attempt to come closer to the to the effect that I want to achieve. So when it was swiped and torched, the cells were coming up, everything was kind of pretty. I liked the effect how it looked though, although it wasn't as dark as I hoped to contrast-wise. 
but I decided to let it be like it was and add some gold leaf under it just to make it more shimmery, shiny, elevated looking, whatever. So I, I really like the, the end result of this one. And want to go over to the male silhouette face, trying the very same with silver. So it was black, silver and white. I already wanted to reduce the amount of white as a second stage attempt, so to speak. And it didn't really turn out, so it's still too much white for this. But it could also have been because the silver is not so much different in color tone than it is the white. So, hmm. But well, I liked it anyways and added some silver leaf to it, just to make it fit to the first one. The fun thing about those two is, if you get them in a set, which I hope someone will get for his home, I might put them on Etsy, I think. Um, they look at each other. So I, I mirrored them. The lady is going to look to the left and the guy is looking to the right or the other way around. I don't remember. But they look at each other. So I hope this really looks cool. I'll try to make a Photoshop image watching each other. We will see in the end if I can manage to do this. The third attempt should be something more simpler. So just a blue paint and the white. And I wanted to see if I can create the look there. Not so much in the end, but it was a good experiment to, to try to be less colorful, to just have two colors and to see what's coming out of it. This goes more into the direction that I want to use for my large scale project. I don't know yet. But I think these three projects here gave me a good first impression on how to use this technique. I probably will also try to apply the more playing around with color approach that Crafty Jen did, because it really looked great in the end. And she went swiping it over and over again, and I always am a bit afraid of getting muddy colors, which she did not. And this was cool to see, actually. So I will try this as well. So when everything was poured and set, I just had to let it dry. Then it was time to varnish it. And the varnishing part I did film Live again for those of you who, who actually are interested in seeing the varnish process. So, and here they are in full beauty. I'm going to varnish them now, and as usual, I used my Liquitex varnish. It's an acrylic varnish. They come from matte to ultra gloss, so whatever you like to use or whatever your preference is. And it's just applying this onto them to varnish them. I have shown this in many videos, so I i show you this in this video here as well. If there comes a moment when you're fed up with seeing the varnishing process, just let me know so I can cut it out in the future. The pretty with this varnish is that it is quickly drying, that it's non-smelly, which is a plus of course, and that you can apply as many layers as you want. So if you have some bumps or um, brush strokes in one of the layers, just use another layer over it and you will be good to go. There is actually nothing so much more to say, so I just apply a bit of it onto my uh, yeah, artworks and spread it around with a large brush. This is the largest one that I have. If I had a larger one, I would use it. So just, yeah, just go over it. Of course, before you do so, remove the silicone, otherwise you will have gaps in the varnish in the end, as this, yeah, flows together like the paint does when you do the, the pour itself. But even if you don't remove the varnish and you do have these gaps in between in the end, just let it dry and apply a second, third, it actually doesn't really need more than a third layer over it and it will be fine. So after a couple more layers everything will be good, the gaps are going to be removed and it's perfectly, perfectly fine. So, as usual, I hope you liked this video, although the original idea was not mine this time. But I hope you had fun watching. Make sure to have a look at Crafty Gen's channel as well, because this was just an amazing result. 
If this was one of the first videos that you've seen of mine and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share with everyone that you know, just to help my channel grow as well. If you have whatsoever questions, just leave me in the comment box below. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> have a great day. Bye-bye.